Hi folks, the Filipino Bee here. And after my last video, I got a lot of requests for an encore appearance from Paul, the foreign guy I interviewed on Tuesday. Well, since I always give you what you want, I got a full length interview with him that I think you're gonna enjoy. Well, Paul, thank you so much for meeting us again today. Okay, and okay. Uh, my viewers really enjoyed your appearance on my last video. Good. So they asked me to track you down, and here I am to deliver what they asked for. Okay. So, Paul, uh, tell us about yourself. Well, my name is Paul Jensen. I'm from Wisconsin. I've been living in the Philippines about 10 years. I'm retired from the U.S. Postal Service in America. And I've done a lot of world travel. I've been to China five times, Vietnam, Cambodia. I've been in all 50 states in America. I've been all over the world, basically, except South America, but I've been to Mexico. So wow. that's, I've been world, around. World traveler. So world you traveler. worked for the post office. I did. OK, so I'll be careful with my questions. Sure. Because I don't want you going postal no, on me. No, I won't go postal. <laughs> don't worry. I promise I won't. OK. So Paul, tell us, why the Philippines, though? This is one of the places that I, when I visited, I really liked it here because the weather's fabulous, mm -hmm. the people are fabulous, my money goes far. It's a lot of different things. Are you sure? Because I want to hear all, like the good, the oh, no. bad, and the ugly. Well, That's there's, my channel. There's really no about. bad. I can't say a lot of bad. I've been very fortunate here as yeah. a foreigner. I've never been robbed. I've never been accosted. I've never had any arguments with any Filipinos, you know, minor little bumps with my motorcycle. Right. Other than that, it's been really a fabulous time for me, and that's why I stay here. I've been here nine years, and I stay in the Philippines because it's a nice place to stay. What brought you to the Philippines? Is it like, do you know someone here? No, or? I was just visiting Southeast Asia, and I came to Cambodia, Vietnam, China, and I went to Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, and then I came to the Philippines, and this is the place that I like the most because it was just a fabulous place to be. A lot of foreigners say that Thailand is better with infrastructure, food, this, this and that. It what depends you upon what you, it depends upon what you like. I like Thailand. I lived there for more than a year. Mm -hmm. Thailand's a nice place, but they don't speak English well there. And some things are different there with the money things. And um, the food is excellent there. I will admit that. Yes. The food is really nice in Thailand. And the people were nice there too. I have nothing bad to say about anybody there, but I prefer the Philippines. It's just a personal, personal opinion. That's all it is. Here in the Philippines, how would you describe the food though? Because not in all the Philippines, a, are... a lot of the food is kind of the same. It, it's mostly their main protein dish is pork here. Yeah. But you can get beefy. But their cows are old when they kill them. They wait till they get no, old, I... and then they're kind of tough. You can get nice papaya. You can get nice vegetables, nice fruits. Everything here is fresh, right? You got it today. It's fresh from yesterday. It's much better than most countries as far as fr uh, fresh fruit and vegetables go. Okay. And you can eat as healthy as you want here. You can eat fish that's right out of the ocean today, still flipping on your plate if right. you want it. Yeah. And you can get the vegetables and steam that go with it. You don't have to fry it in oil. You can eat as healthy as you want, or you can eat whatever you want. You can get hamburgers here. You can get French fries, pizzas. Okay. Yeah. How would you describe women from Southeast Asia <clears throat> compared to the, Filipinos? The women here want to help you. They want to do things for you. You know, they want to do the dishes. They want to clean the house they want to prove to you that they're really good you mm -hmm. know wife material right. but I'm not looking for a wife but I've had a lot of girls try to prove to me that they would be a good wife I know you and mentioned that yeah, last time the women here they cl they'll clean up everything and you're the main thing they want to take care of you which I don't like okay I don't want somebody to always be at my beck and call and bringing me water and doing everything for me okay I like to be 50 50 share help with dinner, help clean the house, things like that. I'm, I'm kind of a 50-50 guy. Right, so, right. Yeah. Most foreigners right. are coming here to look right. for that kind of... They want hand and foot service. Yes. They want somebody to do everything for them and they don't realize what they're doing. They're giving up a big part of their life where they can be doing something instead of doing nothing. So okay. to me, that's the way I look at that. Okay, maybe, so your maybe, pre personal preference. Maybe they're happier doing nothing and having somebody do everything for you but I'm not, so yeah. that's just a personal preference. You're right. Exactly. Some guys like hand and foot service, come on, you know, so <laughs> yes. it's okay. It's exactly, okay. because they were saying like, that's the missing ingredient in, you know. In America, in, in America, a lot of countries, America, in right. other Western countries. Correct. Because women there are no longer that, so they right. come here to 
more traditional right well the old wife culture. the old yes. wife scenario in the united states is kind of gone because mm -hmm. now the women have to go to work all day and you yeah. know everybody's got to share and making money to to pay for the big expensive fancy house and the nice car i'd like to find a girl that wants to go on a sailboat that wants to go travel the world and just kind of be casual about it mm -hmm. and we don't have to get married and we don't have to do this and we don't have to be together all the time right. you know and that's kind of what i'm looking for which is very difficult to find Right. Because most women that are looking for a man, they want some support too, generally. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm not just looking to support a girl. Exactly. I'm looking to have a partner. All right, so when you started dating uh, your exes, did you tell them like, I don't like always you hovering over me, like I can, you know, I can do it myself, I can, That's you know. hard to explain to a girl because that's what they're there for. They want to give you that. That's something that they want to do. They want to be, they want to help you and they, they want you to feel like they're really taking good care of you because they, generally they want you to keep them. They want you to marry the girl and keep the girl there and mm. that's what they want. That's what most of them are looking for. Now I do tell the girls I don't want to get married and I don't want somebody that's real subservient that's going to be on top of me all the time making sure that I have everything that I want. How do you meet girls? I, do you go online? I, I go to the market. I used to go online, right, but right. now I just go to the market. Oh, okay. Oh, I like going to the market because <laughs> there's so many girls selling and they're there looking. Oh, look, the farmers. Okay. Hit. And they like that. They like to see you come in and eat puto mai and sequati. And I like the, yes, in the market. In the, yeah, I, I love like that the traditional there. foods here. I like the dark chocolate and I like the, 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 the puto maya. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the peanut butter panda sol is yummy. Oh, so, yeah. I like that, too. Actually, I'm getting hungry right now yeah. just talking about it. Right. So, before you go online, is that like part of your profile? Like, don't be this, don't be that, no, like, you know, no I don't, children? I, I don't use the computer that much anymore. A lot of guys do. They mm -hmm. find girls on the computer, but I don't do that anymore because you really don't know what you're getting. But every time I've met a girl on the computer, it's the real girl. It's her, and okay. she's there. Maybe she's late, Filipino time. You know how that goes. But, yeah. but I've never had a girl not come and meet me like they were supposed to. Sometimes they're hiding behind a tree, but they're there. All right. Because <laughs> they're afraid, you know. Do you used to meet girls with chaperones, like with their friends? They want, a lot of girls want to bring a chaperone, and I tell them, it's okay if you bring a girl with, to, because, because you're worried about me, it's okay. Bring a girl if you want to, or bring your mother. I don't care. Okay, well, that's awesome. Yeah. So, when you meet girls in, you know, in person, how do you approach them? I get to know them. Oh, give, you know, give, hand me the sugar. Oh, you've got nice hands, you know. Uh, you talk to them, you, you put on a little bit of a show. Mr. You, Suave. Right. <laughs> right, you try. Yeah. I mean, you have to be kind of a comedian at first to get them to laugh and stuff, because then they learn to like you. Oh, Paul's here, maybe I can laugh today, you know. They, exactly, and they you know like what? That. I think uh, humor is the new sexy. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Because if you can make someone laugh, especially a woman, I think that's the best thing in the world. Sex, sex is not the, the thing that I really look for. I look for everything else, and then that's the last thing. And if that's good, then that's just a plus, you know. Okay, so. well, speaking of which, what do you look for in a woman? Let's say, let's start with the age range. Yeah, I like women that are a little bit older. I don't like to go with real young girls here, and I know that I can, and I've had some younger girls attracted to me, but I like to stay in the 35 to 45 range because these girls know a little bit more about life, and they've probably already got kids and been married, so they know how to kind of deal with a man, and it's just easier for me to deal with that. Okay. And older, older girls I like. I don't particularly care for real young girls. They're in a different world. They're in a different, right. they're, they're, they're in a whole different ball game than, than the older ones, so I like the older ones better. Okay. Okay. And yeah. I'm just an honest guy. I'm not here to hurt anybody or do anything like yeah. that. I'm here to just kind of enjoy my retirement and just make sure it's okay. You know? Yeah, because yeah. It, you know, some people would say like most foreigners are just going to the Philippines because More they sex. want younger right. Right. women. Right. But you know what? Most of my subscribers are also the same. They're looking for somewhat older, right. mature. Right. A lot of older guys in their 70s that have been through the mill, they've been divorced five times. Maybe they come here and they want a young girl because, oh, look, I've got a young girl. Look what I've got. And I'm 70. It's kind of a, you know. Arm candy? Yeah, arm candy thing. And, yeah. And I look at it this way. That's fine. You know, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. Yeah. But, you know, if you want to really be happy, you need to find somebody that you want to watch the same TV shows with, you want to eat the same food with, you want to go do the same things with. That's what you really want. You don't want just arm candy. That's no good. Yeah, you know. someone who can have an intellectual conversation with you. Exactly. Play Scrabble. Yeah. Whatever. What advice can you give to other guys out there who are oh. looking to have a relationship with 
a Filipina, but they don't want to have kids. Right. Because you know, Filipinas, it's like always babies, babies, babies. So right, right, right. I know it's very difficult. Well, you can find an older girl that's already had some kids and she doesn't want any more. And that's what I look for as a girl that's already been through that, that doesn't want any more children, or maybe she can't have any more children. Mm -hmm. Find a girl that can't have kids. There's some of them out there too. Right. So, you know, you can, you can be, you can look around, you know, check it out. So what are the cons um, in dating a single mother? Please. You're going to have to deal with the kids. If she's got kids and if they're older, you're going to deal with personality issues maybe sometimes. You know, <laughs> yeah. like if this boy doesn't like you for some reason, or maybe he really likes you or something. And it's, you know, things like that can get in the way. Mm -hmm. and, you, and, it, and it can deal, it can affect your relationship. So, you know, it just depends upon what you want. If you don't mind kids, Get a girl with three, four kids. If you like, if you don't like kids, get a girl that doesn't have any kids. That's the way to go. And there's plenty of them here. Right. There, admit it. There's a lot of girls here available for men. There is, yeah. and there's a reason for that. There's a lot of gay men here, and I don't want. I don't really like to put that out there. Yeah. But from what I can see, a lot of these men don't want to go with these girls, and I don't know why. If if it's they're gay or what, they just don't particularly care to go with the girls. I don't know what it is. And also, I think one of the reasons um, is that you know, the beauty preference here, like. Dark skinned Filipinas are not the not, not well liked. Yes. Right, for some reason. Yeah. And because I am actually just like an average looking for local guys here. They, right. I am not attractive. Yes, you're attractive. And and you have a nice personality. That's that's what a guy's really looking for. It's not so much the attractive. Yeah. That that goes away. With your girlfriends before, did you support any of them? Like oh, sure. bits and pieces? If I go with a girl and she stays with me for a while, you know, a week or two weeks or whatever, until we realize we we work or we don't work, I take care of everything. I buy her food and she can stay with me at my apartment. We watch my TV and I have a motorcycle. I bring her home and do whatever and Sure, I look out for the girl, of course, because I know she probably doesn't have much money. Mm -hmm. And if she has children, she has to support them somehow. So if she has a job, I make sure she goes to her job and she goes and makes her money instead of hanging out with me. Right. And, and if a girl stays with me, she gets an allowance of 10,000 pesos a month if she stays with me all the time. She mm -hmm. gets 10,000 because maybe her job doesn't pay that much. So if she has to quit her job to stay with me, I want to at least pay her more than what she makes on her job. It's a ransom for some of these girls because they're used to making three and four thousand or two thousand yes. or even one thousand five hundred, small money. So yeah. ten thousand is like a ransom for a lot of these girls to get. And her mother mother and her sister's happy she got that. They can buy load, they can get enough fish and food. And yeah, you just got to try to take care of people a little bit here because the financial differences are big. What a lot of men don't realize, in general, everything that you get in life, you will pay for. Some guys are so worried about they're going to have to pay a little. You're paying for it, so get used to the idea that that's how it works. Girls, they're doing a lot of things for you. I mean, she's giving you a massage, she's cooking dinner. Come on, give her a break. I didn't realize that when I was young, and until I got married and divorced, I realized how the system works. And then once you realize that, you just deal with it in your way. Right. If you want to pay, you pay. If you don't want to pay, you don't pay. If you want to rent, you rent. Whatever you want to do. How do they usually act when you say, you know, in the getting to know each other phase of the relationship? How do they usually react to you saying, I'm not really into getting married? Right. So Things are really either a red light or a green light. You can tell when you talk to some, some girls will say, hey, that's okay. Because they maybe have been married before and they know. Mm -hmm. So are some of the, a lot of the girls are already married and they can't get married anyhow. So exactly, it doesn't because matter. we don't have divorce. You, don't, you can get an annulment or whatever. Yeah, yeah. but it takes time. Or if it's, it's it costs like a, more money than you're allowed to, can really pay. Yeah, like yeah. about 10,000 US dollars. For me, it's lucky. If the girl's already been married, I don't have to worry. <laughs> So that's, you one, that's one worry that's out the door. No. I'm Aren't not you afraid with the, the husband? husband? No, because yeah. he's been gone for a long time. Usually the girl will say he's been gone for three, four, six years. Yeah. And that's the case. He's with another girl and having a family already. So the, some of the Filipino guys, they just move right on. Right. They don't seem to really mind doing that. You can be really at risk if you're, you know. I understand because the laws are a, a Filipino man or an American can kill somebody if he's caught with his wife. Yeah. And get away with it. <laughs> yes. Just like going in somebody's yard. You go in somebody's yard at night. If they shoot you, you're not in trouble because they weren't supposed to be in your yard. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that's the way it goes. But so, you don't go in people's yards and you don't go with girls that got a husband that's hanging around. I know. You have to kind of watch out what you're doing. You know? Yeah, you have to be really mindful, guys. Yes. Prior to moving in together, how long should you date a woman? Two, two or three months at least. 
at least. But they don't want that. They want to move in after the first week. <laughs> I've had girls want to move in after the first day. The first so it's day. like, yes, I'm not kidding you. And if they want you to meet their mother and father, they really like you and they want to stay with you. Really. Right. If you want to come meet my mother and father the first day you go with that girl, you are in trouble because that girl wants to keep you. Yeah. So do you think they really are um, when they say And they're genuine and yeah. they will stay with you and you can stay with that girl probably forever, chances are. Yeah. The girls are good here. Really, I have nothing bad to say about Filipinas. Most of them are really good. Okay. To be honest with you. I don't think that they're bad girls. I think that, you know, they really want to do the right thing and they want to stay with the man and they, they feel happy that they can get a foreigner. And if they get a good foreigner and he's a good guy, they're lucky and they stay together. It's a good thing. Yeah. Positive thing. It's a positive thing to do. So, so. for guys out there who are looking to... Uh, get married to a Filipina, right. how long should they date the woman? Come here for a, a long time. Come here and meet the girl, meet her family, and then if she's not the right girl, find another girl. Find another girl that fits your, fits like a glove. That's the one you want to find. And then what, those girls, nine times out of ten, they're the best, the good girls are for marriage. That's why men come here, because they've heard the story. Filipino girls make a good wife, and they do. Yeah, and also, guys, I think don't fall in love right away to the first Filipina you meet. Right. Because... The problem is you get a lot of guys that are in these other countries, they're lonely, and they're alone. And then they come here, and bam, look at this beautiful girl I got. I better keep her. I won't get another girl like her. Yes, you will, and you might get a better girl. So don't think that way. Just ease your way into it and be smart about it. Don't jump right away and get married right away and do all that foolish stuff because it ends up not good. Exactly, because they feel like in a twilight zone, you know, or sometimes <laughs> they're thinking they're Do you like, even know what the twilight zone yes, is? Yes, I've, I've seen... I, I used to like to watch the twilight zone at night. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was actually watching it uh, a few months ago. That's good. So anyway, they were like little kids in a candy shop. So right, right. take your time and I'm Absolutely. not saying like, you know. You're getting a nice girl. Don't worry. Just take your time. You can be choosy here. Right. You can be very choosy here. You can have any girl you want. Almost. Yes. Almost. But you have to make sure that you do the right thing and the girl's got to like you and it's not going to be that easy. But you can get a girl that you like and that you want to be with. No problem. Yeah. Have standards. Like, have, have standards. Yeah. And not real low standards. Keep your standards up a little bit. Yeah. It's okay. So Paul. What can you tell my viewers about Filipinas that they might not know? Um, Filipino girls have funny looking feet. <laughs> I can tell you the truth about they're, they're, they're cute, but they look different. I don't know why, but they just do. And all the girls got the jeepney nose because when they were on the jeep, it stopped real fast and they all got a jeepney nose now. So that, just remember that, but their noses are cute. You have to, I like the, I have a flat, I like tire. The flat nose. Your noses are, your noses are cute. Some guys don't like them. I prefer, I think they're very cute and yeah. I like them and their feet are cute too. But in general, they're just like the other girls. They have feelings and they want to be loved and that's it. Tell us about Mindanao. I like Mindanao. I stay in Mindanao two weeks and I stay in Negros two weeks. I go back and forth, balik balik, and I have an apartment there for 5,000 pesos, which is $100. I have a motorcycle there and a flat screen TV and my TV I run off my phone. <laughs> And here I have a motorcycle, a flat screen TV, and an apartment in a beautiful place right on the beach by the sailboats. And it's 5,000 pesos there, and that's $100. So for $200, I can have two apartments, two motorcycles, two flat screen TVs, and two girls if I want, but I only have one. Smart, smart. Don't do that. I got it wired. I got it going the best you can have it in the Philippines. Okay, so a lot of foreigners um, they're worried about going to Mindanao because right. of the previous right problems, problems. In, in southwestern Mindanao you stay out of that area down there in the Sulu region you don't go there because they've had problems there but I've been all over Mindanao north and south and I've been to Zamboanga I've gone to Sandakan Malaysia two times on the ferry boat never had a problem but you travel during the day and you pay attention to the safety things that you're supposed to do and you'll have no trouble here it's a very safe place it's a lot safer than a lot of countries but the people here hear about one small thing and it's a big deal for a long time so they think oh it's dangerous in the Philippines. No, it's not dangerous. Things like that happen everywhere, but not as much in other, you know, more in other countries than here. How would you differentiate people from each island? Do you think there's like 
I think there's a difference in education level. Right. I think in places like Dumaguete and the, more in the Visayas, and, and the education level is much higher. In Mindanao, you've got a lot of people that are still living in the mountains that are farmers and stuff, and the education level is lower. But sweet, nice people, super mm. nice, great people. They don't speak as much. No. They, they don't talk like people here. They just no. they just more look around, you know. They're more reserved. More reserved. More reserved. More reserved. They don't say much. They're more afraid of you than anything. When they see you, if they have a, little kids look at you. They've never seen a foreigner before, and they they just stare. So what can you tell me about the, uh, I know not all foreigners are good. There's always. No, not all foreigners come here with a good intention. Mm -hmm. They come here, well, I want to go and see how many Filipino girls I can have sex with. I want to go and see how many Filipino girls I can date and then leave or whatever. You know, and it's just. Uh, it depends upon the, 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 where the man is in his life and what he's doing with his personal life. You know, there's a there's a difference. Some guys have a wrong idea about what they want to do. You know, I know it, it is it is sad, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't. Condone. It's a wrong idea. You're no. right, but that's what they do, and that and then they end up you know they end up finding out that that's not the right thing to do. But in the meantime, there's a bunch of Filipino girls that got bad attitudes about foreigners because this guy dumped them and did this and did I that. I know. You know. Yeah. Oh, you've been dumped before. You know, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Paul can read people. Now I, I'm scared. I can read people. He's, don't he's reading me. What are your long term <laughs> plans if you don't want to get married with a Filipina? So, right. what's the end game here? I want to get a girl that stays with me permanently as my girlfriend or my life partner and stay with me till the day I die. If she lives longer than me, because I want an older girl and I might outlive her, you never know. But I want a permanent partner that's really like my life partner that wants to do the same things that I want to do. Here and if in I the can, Philippines. Here in the Philippines. Okay. And I can bring her to America. She can visit in America. We can go for six months on a tourist visa and you can see what it's like in America. Okay. And maybe I'll have a house there because my kid's there. I can visit my kids and we have a house to stay in when I'm there. Okay. That's kind of what my, but my plan is to have a long-term Filipina girlfriend. Okay. Or a life partner. Life partner. And I, but I don't want to get legally married. Actually, that's a very, very smart move. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes marriage is a trap. I'm not. Absolutely. I, I'm okay with people. I respect well, people who get, you know, married. Whatever floats your boat. But, right. you know, to complicate things because, you know what, right. for me personally, if, if I were a guy, yeah. what's, I mean, there's not a lot of advantages for me to get married. No. There, it's something that keeps you together even if you shouldn't be together yeah. or it keeps you together even if you don't want to be together. So you you have to look at it as it's not always a positive thing. Be together because you want to be together. You don't Give need a piece of paper to, no, be, to, to be with someone you really, 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 really love. want to be with. That's yes, correct. You can grow old with someone without right. that piece of paper. Don't don't right. invite go the government into right. your relationship. Right. <laughs> and communication is always the most important thing. You always have to communicate with that person yes. or, or there will be a breakdown in your relationship. You have to stay communication. Even if you don't want to talk this morning, honey, I'm sorry, give me my coffee and just go away. Okay, but later on you talk and you communicate. Yeah. You always have to remember that. So what did your friends and family tell you? I think when a you lot of my here? friends think I came here to go with young young girls I mean like pedophile type stuff and I'm not here for that but a lot of people think when people guys come to third world countries Cambodia Philippines you know Vietnam places like that they think that they're going there for that reason they don't realize that this is a gorgeous gorgeous place and they have no idea how nice the Philippines really is look at we're surrounded by the gorgeous yeah. beautiful ocean today is and really that breeze beautiful. coming in is fabulous and look at the clouds and a lot of people think that guys come here for the wrong reason and some do yeah but not all so they stay here so yeah. yeah, you know. So were they were they happy that you're leaving the U.S.? Well, not necessarily. I think a lot of them were jealous or not happy about it because they think, well, he's he's my friend and he's going to leave here, so I'm losing a friend. You know, right. they think that you're losing a friend, and you know they want to say bad things about it, so you come back and maybe feel bad. Well, I better go back to America because everybody thinks I'm here for just girls or something, and, right. and it's wrong. I'm here because I want to be here. Okay, this is the finale. This is it. This is it. So what's the realistic budget for a foreigner to live comfortably here in the Philippines? Minimum of $1,000 a month. Minimum. 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 If you're single or with a girlfriend? Well, you know, it depends upon... I'm retired, so I have a good income, but a guy coming here that's working, he's going to have to leave and go back unless he's rich. So most of your older guys are the ones that stay here, like me, mm -hmm. and we have an income. But for a young guy that's coming here that's going to stay a while, you better bring a couple thousand dollars per month to, 
to enjoy yourself here if you're yeah. going to just stay for a while. Yeah, and I don't think it's very good to think of you know working here while it, right because now, the job market's not good. No. That's why, as an older guy here, we got it made because the younger guys in their 30s, 40s, and 50s that come here, they still got to go back and work, uh -huh. and their girlfriends here for me. Yay! Hey! Joke. <laughs> joke I'm kidding but that's that's how it works so as an older guy that's here that's got a good income you are you are in like Flint you got it going on all right well Paul thank you so very much You're for welcome. taking the time I really appreciate you okay and um and that only cost you a hundred thousand pesos <laughs> oh, joke. I'm kidding but no no the Philippines for me checks? is fabulous yes <laughs> Yes, I'll accept the check. Fine, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this segment, and I'll be back in just three more days with something fresh for you to consider. So, thank you. bye for now. Bye. Hey, Mom, I've got an update on Project Snag a Foreigner. I came up with an excuse to interview that Paul guy again so I could start using my charms on him. We spent the afternoon together, and guess what? I kind of ended up with his wallet, so he has to see me again to get it back. Now let's see what else I can find out about him. Okay, his full name is Ronald Reagan. I knew it! Ronald Reagan is alive and well eating mango pie and dating Filipinas. You know how cute I always thought you were. If you think about it, I'm kind of like your lifeguard, keeping you from drowning in a sea of doubt about life in the Philippines. I won't let you just dive right into the deep end without informing you about our culture and customs. And you can always count on me to take care of all the little details along the way. What is that in the pool? All right, everyone, out of the pool, out of the pool. Now we're gonna have to shut it down for weeks and get a hazmat crew in here, damn it! Oh my god, this is so disgusting! Which one of you subscribers did that?